Well guys, I have some bad news to share with you, but I also have some good news to share with you. So welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it's December already? Let's talk about it. So now all we gotta do is get through December and 2020 is around the corner and uh, so far so good. I mean, we'll have a new president. January 20th cannot come soon enough. We need him quickly. Is that a word, quickly? Anyway, girl, how's everybody doing this holiday? As you can see, I got my tree lit, the fireplace, virtual fireplace going, and um, I'm in the mood, I'm in the Christmas spirit. I think I wanted to put up the decorations real early because just something to think and look forward to because it's just been a dismal 2020. But that's not my bad news. My bad news is, drum roll, I won't be doing Vlogmas this month. I know, I said I was going to do it because I didn't do Vlogtober. But y'all, it's hard to vlog and edit every single day. And I'm not at the level where I can give you good quality videos every single day. I'd rather just give you extra videos. So instead of having one on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'll be adding a video here and there. And y'all know I added my cooking uh, series and I can't wait to give you guys some more cooking in the kitchen, Sky Bobby's Kitchen. So a little bad news that I'm not doing Blog Moss, that's, that's the bad news. The good news is I'm still here. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers, so that's something to look forward to. And 2021, get into it. Now you know my resolution is to get to a thousand subscribers by the New Year's Eve, and you guys can help me out with that. If you're new to my channel, welcome. How you doing? <laughs> it's a silly channel, but I tell you, I have a lot of fun. It's, it has a bit of everything. It has a little drama. It has a little bit of cooking, cleaning. It has a lot. It even has a virtual fireplace. Y'all like that fireplace? Does it look real? <laughs> it's not. I'm real, but that fireplace ain't real. But it looks good, huh? Anyway, yeah, so let's get into this. I have been absolutely enjoying the cooking series. You know, I know I could cook, but I didn't know I was going to bake and do all the things that I'm trying. Most of the things that I'm trying, I either have only done it once, someone told me about it, but I've actually never cooked it before, so if it looks kind of strange or out of place, it probably is, because I'm no chef. But it's just fun getting up all the prep work ready and um, buying the food and just cooking and just chatting with you guys. It's, it's, I'm liking it. Hope you're liking it, and if there's something that you would like for me to bake or cook, leave a comment down below. I like more baking than I do cooking, but if you have a favorite recipe, especially if you're from around the world, like one of my next cooking um, tutorials is going to be uh, chicken masala. I went to India a couple of weeks ago and I've been inspired to cook some kind of Indian dish. I had delicious food all through my vacation in India and I was like, you know what, let me just try it. What could possibly happen? So if you're looking for something for me to cook, just leave a comment down below and I'll cook it. Don't worry, I'll still have my life of a flight attendant. I know some of you guys come here just for that and you love that. I'm just broadening my horizon, giving you guys all kinds of different content and let you choose what you want to watch and what you don't want to watch. That's my business. <laughs> I don't know why I've been giddy lately. I just, I don't know. I've, I've been excited about putting up the decorations. We've bought new decorations. I don't know if you can really tell in this picture, but uh, we made a theme for our Christmas tree and it's called uh, BLM, Black Lives Matter, the Tree of Hope. We've been having the same ornaments for probably about 16 years. And I looked in that box like, you know what? Mason's having a great sale, 65% off of Christmas ornaments. We get some new stuff. So I did. Um, by now you've probably seen the video of my um, setting up the Christmas tree like everybody else does in December. If not, you can always check in my uh, video content and find out uh, trimming the tree. But it's been like one of those years where I normally put it up in December, but we had that tree up the day after Thanksgiving and I was like, yes. So maybe that's why I'm in a good mood. What about you guys? When do you guys put up your Christmas tree? Do you put it up the day after Thanksgiving? Do you put it uh, the first day of December? I know people who put it up the night before. I'm like, well, what is the purpose if Christmas is over? And I know people who leave it up until like February or March. Why? I have no idea. I knew growing up when um, I was living with my parents, they would leave the Christmas lights up all year so that way they don't have to put it back up, just turn them off. But a Christmas tree? Come on now. But that's your business. 
So my advice to you, if you're feeling kind of down or you had a long year or you're just over this year and you haven't put up your Christmas decorations yet, do it now. It will put you in the mood, put your Christmas songs on and um, guarantee you'll feel much better. Speaking of Christmas songs, my all time favorite, favorite Christmas carol or Christmas song is The Christmas Song with Nat King Cole. Nobody else can sing it like he can. And ironically, when we were putting up our tree, that was the first Christmas song I heard. And I was like, yes, this is, this is a sign. And then, uh, of course, Santa Baby, and I have a few other ones, but definitely the Christmas song by Nat King Cole will get me in the mood anytime. I can even play that when it's not Christmas. That's how much I love that song. But what is your favorite song? What is your favorite Christmas song? It used to be Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas. But I didn't play Mariah out. I know it's time for some new, some new stuff. Uh, well, I don't know. She's a classic, but not like Nat King Cole classic. It's more like pop Christmas classic. So sometimes you want to put some Joss Groban in the background, some Kenny G, and play your Christmas songs, some Christmas jazz. But I put Mariah more in the pop category. Well, to give you guys a weight update, you know, I've been losing some little pounds, trying to look skinny and cute. And uh, so far I've lost about 18 pounds. I got about 15 pounds more to go. And, um, not just to lose weight, but just to feel healthy. I've been eating completely different and much better and more in a lifestyle way opposed to just trying to lose weight. And it's been working for me. My husband's also on a um, weight management or weight loss or diet, whatever you want to call it. That's our business. Uh, he's lost a lot of pounds. He's looking good. I'm looking good. We looking good. That's our business. <laughs> But one of my biggest New Year's resolution is getting back to my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world is to be on a tennis court. I used to play tennis day in, day out, every weekend, practice during the week, during a tour of tournaments, and I had shut it down right before COVID actually. And I have not picked up a racket yet, but I woke up the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna restrong my racket. I'm feeling a little bit more healthier. I can move a little bit go out there and practice my serve, and I'm gonna get out there and start um, hitting some balls. So if you are a tennis player and you're in the California area, slide a message in my DM, let's hit some balls. I love this time of the year just for the fashion part of it. You can see I got me a nice cashmere sweater on and it feels so good. I like bringing out my scarves and it could be like still 60 degrees and I'll put a scarf on because it just brings another level to your fashion. I've been shopping for myself, been a little selfish, but I'm um, just trying to update my um, wardrobe. You lose a little weight, you feel a little cute, you want some new clothes, so. I've been doing some shopping and some online shopping, so I think I have a little addiction. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> Don't tell him. But I've been working hard. I've been working overtime, shopping, uh, get some more clothes, and that's my business. Well, that's all I got for you folks. I thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed my little fireplace and my Christmas tree and my little outfit. And I will see you on the next video. Y'all know what's next, right? Bye, girl. Bye.